everybody, I have a wonderful game I want to show you today. If you love cavemen and you love babies, you're going to love this show. And I also have a special guest who's going to come in and play it, and we're going to get her opinion on this game. Stick around. Hey everybody, it's me, Scott Galaxy. Thanks again for joining me for another edition of The Layman Video Gamer. I have a really cool game uh, that I want to show you today. It's on one of my favorite systems. Uh, I got this about a week ago, and I'm just getting around to doing a show for it, so uh, I apologize for that. But, nonetheless, here it is. This is Chuck Rock 2, Son of Chuck. Now this is the sequel to Chuck Rock that you all come to know and love. Maybe not love, but you certainly know who it is. But before I get into the game and show you what it looks like, let's talk about what I got here. This is, uh, this case is in really good shape. It's uh, also got the styrofoam inside, which is always a plus, but uh, everything looks great. The instruction manual, the disc looks great. And uh, you can usually find this game for somewhere around 39, 40, Somewhere around there, somewhere around $40, let's just say. This one I got for $35 on eBay, free shipping. And it also has some of the, the old stickers from the, uh, looks like the video stores possibly that this was rented out of. Uh, if you're familiar with King Supers, you'll have to let me know. Maybe this, that feels like a supermarket, possibly. So like I said, I have a special guest today and she's gonna play it and give her opinions on it. Here she is, this is Sema. Say hi, Sema. Hi. Are you excited to play the game today? Very much so. Why do you want to play the game today? The baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's all it takes. Get a baby in a game and she'll play it. Well, look at the baby. What is it? That's right. He's got a bat. Let's go play it and see what this baby does. Yes, let's do it. Welcome, gamesters, to Chuck Rock 2, Son of Chuck. You'll remember that in our last exciting adventure, Chuck Rock defeated the evil Gary Gritter and his despicable dinosaur. Utilizing his newfound skills, Chuck invented the very first automobile and in no time at all, had built a brand new factory and was in full production of the Rocket Road Machine. Do you like side-scrolling games? Yes. This is very Flintstone style, by the way. I actually like Do you it. like the intro? Yeah. It's kind of cool, right? Oh, they're, they're Fred. <laughs> a bunch of them. <laughs> Did you say a bunch of Freds? Yeah. Like Flintstones? Yeah. Oh. So this is one of the longer intros. Oh. This is one of the longer intros. Why she looks normal? He looks nice. not really normal. Look, see, a baby's just appear. That's how that works. <laughs> he looks like Neanderthal. <laughs> His son was a real chip off the old block. But life didn't remain perfect for long. Trouble was on the horizon in the shape of the heartless Brick Jagger, the owner of a new rival car plant. Unfortunately for Brick, he didn't have Chuck's skill and expertise. So when they hit the rock, they just make it happen? <laughs> it turns into... Yes. Despite this, he was determined to be rich. He decided that if he couldn't make his fortune by fair means, he'd make them by foul. And ordered his henchmen to kidnap Chuck. Clearly, because this which, is the Sega, is this? this is Sega CD, right? So this is uh, which this? this is 1993. Blissfully unaware of her husband's predicament, Ophelia received the ransom demand. She 
she was understandably upset. So Chuck Jr. has got to—he's got to go save his dad. This reminds me of seriously Flintstone style because there's a baby. Remember? It was supposed Bam -bam? to be Bam Bam. 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 So, so you saw that the basically you're you're out to go save your dad who was stolen to make cars for the the guy that could make cars. And you saw the guy banging okay. the statue, okay. turned so into a statue. So I'm supposed to do that too. All right, so go ahead and push start. All right, there you are. All right, there you're the ba you're the baby. Let me see what I can do first. Okay. This, and jump, and that's it. Yeah, this, it's very simple, very simple right. controls. So what is your opinion of the graphics firsthand? Just right off the bat, what do you feel um, like? Do you like them? Actually, it's not bad. Again, for that air, I think it's good. Oh, oh. Watch out, there's a there's a dinosaur coming. Don't get stepped on. I know what I'm supposed to do. Just He's, kill it? He was just passing by. Oh, drink some milk. You can also hit those birds if you can reach them. I have a feeling I should be able to climb this. No. No? Okay. I was going to. You can hit those birds. So what do you think about the music? Do you like the music? I think it's a great game. It's, it's simple. Very simple. It is a simple game. It's not like a, it's not a difficult game, I don't think so. No. You kill can all these guys. Kill all these guys. Yeah. You just I'm killed the You just killed the You jump on him. Jump on him. He's your ride. Oh, here comes a monster. What am I supposed to do? What is he going to do? He's going to chomp down at you, so don't stand in one place too long. And then you got to bonk him on the head after he misses you. After he misses you, you got to move. Yeah. Uh. There you go. Bonk him in the head. Uh. Okay, you got to stop. You got to stop getting hit. Oh, you did it! You I did, did it! it. <laughs> he cries and I don't, I don't get it. Oh, he's, he's, so happy. he's happy. He's happy. Oh. oh, get up on him. Jump up on him. And then you want to hit all those things down. Jump up and hit those things down. As many as you can get in eight seconds. You have eight seconds left. Oh, quick, 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 okay. quick! You gotta jump on the thingy. So this game got a seven out of ten. So it did a pretty, pretty good. It was, it was a pretty well received game. They also, because it was so popular in the UK, they, they actually, uh, Core, who made this game, they took out a comic strip in one of the popular magazines there. Well, it's fun because you're hitting everything. Of course. It's a dinosaur's butt, I think. Of course. Come on. Well, yeah, you're on a dinosaur. I have no idea what that was. Oh, here, now you're gonna eat. Don't get hit by the fish. And that bird's gonna come try to take you. Actually, I think you wanna get on that bird. Let him take you. I don't think he take me. No. So is it easy to control? That's that's another thing I like to ask. It is, actually. Well, just a little bit. It's just, I, I like a little stiff? Is it nice, yeah, good enough? I don't or? think it's difficult. It looks difficult, but it's not difficult. That was his father? No. It was just a random no, guy. No, no, Same I, thing. I, I, so you gotta like make him miss you, and then you hit him in the head. Oh, you gotta do it, you. Oh, good uh, you, job. Oh, you did it already. Yep. He's gone. Nice job. Oh, and I'm gonna kill them? No, you don't. Fair. No, you don't kill those. Those are fr those are friendly. The butterflies. You want to kill the monkey? I did. It's dead. Now. Okay, you don't want to kill the butterflies. Oh, 
Oh, this is beautiful. This one's beautiful. Yeah, this is fun. Oh, it's friendly dino? <laughs> Careful, careful, careful. Ride the wave. You gotta ride the wave. Oh. Good job, right? There we go. Okay. Solid, solid riding. Hit it, hit it, hit it. I am hitting them. There's so many. Shut up. Oh. No. Oh, I love this one. This is a fun one. Oh, surfer. <laughs> These are surfers. I think dinos. they. I think they're on. They are uh, surfer dinos. They, they are surfers. That's awesome. So overall, how did you? What would you give that? One out of ten. Ten being the highest rating. What would you give it? Okay, I like games like this though. Okay, it's so not fair. So what would you give it? So I think it's a great game. I would give. I think it's eight. Eight out of ten. Yeah. Oh, that's a pretty solid number. I think it's fun. It's kind of weird and just fun to hit things, you know, especially. <laughs> they're surfing. Would you? First of all, dinosaurs are surfing. That's kind of cool. They're like good monkeys and bad monkeys and they yeah. hit the monkey too. The interesting thing about this, there is a hidden uh, scene in this. Oh, really? Yeah, hit A, B, A, B, up, down, right, C. Right, C. I the hidden You're scene. Me. No, look, it's a hidden scene of when Chuck Rock Jr. was just conceived. Aww. Oh, that's cute, honey. <laughs> <laughs> you can probably tell from the pictures, it's at least three months along. <laughs> Wait, that's not Chuck Rock Jr. Who is that? I Do you want to do you want to tell everybody in the camera what that is? Well, pretty much game is over. <laughs> <laughs> or is it game on? Yeah. So that is actually the special guest, not her. It was actually the special guest is our little Chuck Rock Jr. on the way. He has about six months of cooking left to do. Yes. But we don't know if it's a he or a she yet, so you can't really tell. But. If it's anything like her, it's still going to be one badass baby. <laughs> so there you have it. That is our very special Layman Video Gamer episode for this week. Well, forever. That's like the most special Layman Video Gamer video of all time, really. Yes. So uh, I'd love to hear from you guys. This does not mean we're, we're going to stop doing videos. In fact, if anything, I'll be doing way more videos now. I just may have a special guest with me from here on out. So until next time, I'm Scott, this is Sema, and little Chuck Rock Jr. in there. And we'll see you next time on another Layman Video Gamer video. I was representing the special <laughs> guest. <laughs> we did throw some hints out. My dinosaur t-shirt with, my dinosaur was giving the A. And you were wearing your t-shirt saying game over. The sperm found a home. Ha 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 ha.